the big boxer is finally here. For some reason, we've been lucky enough, we've been good little boys, uh, to actually be one of the countries that receives one to feel and touch. And I'm not going to lick it. I know I said I'm going to lick it. I'm not going to lick it. So today I'm going to answer all of the questions that you guys had on the previous video and of course we're going to start it and uh, hear what it actually sounds like. All right, question number one. This one comes from Stephen Campbell. Does it have a center stand? No. What are you going to do with the center stand, Steven? Also from Steven, an engine that wide needs crash bars for when it falls over. Uh, there are crash bars. You can get them straight from, uh, from BMW. Uh, the engine is not going to fall over, Steven. The rider is going to fall over and then drag the engine with. Rick Day from uh, Facebook. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. That's not a question, Rick. This is supposed to be a Q&A session. Dberry999666 from Texas. The frame looks like a double cradle. Wondering about the frame flex as comparing a flat twin ver Oh, too complicated, man. Too complicated. Hugh Griffiths from uh, YouTube. What does the fuel filler cap look like? Hugh Griffiths again. What wheel options are available? Um, Lots of them. We can see in the configurator here that you can get it with a whole bunch of different styles, different wheels, whatever your heart desires. Basically, you can spec it up and make it look exactly how you want to. So uh, lots of customization options there. James Samways from YouTube. Can you find out if they're going to do a set of pipes that aren't 500 foot long? These ones aren't 500 foot long. James, do you want to see how long 500 feet is? 500 damn feet. Do you want to see how long 500 feet is? show you how long 500 feet is. 500 is a lot of feet. Why is it going in a circle? I don't have 500 feet here. This is not a palace. Three times as much. From me to you, three times as much. You want those pipes? Giga Bachi, again from YouTube. I'll take a 1200C over this tractor any day of the week, okay? It's like they pulled the Bismarck from the bottom of the ocean and slapped two wheels on it. I'll allow it because it's quite funny actually oh uh, finally a serious question from Ian what's the fuel range uh, 300 kilometers 190 ish miles 16 liter fuel tank 300 kilometers then you can go to a petrol station here's a bunch of questions in one from Ing Beamer can you go through the cluster menu yes the instrument cluster is uh, is quite detailed you can see your riding mode you can see the gear you're in Engine temperature, speed, voltage, date, service intervals, consumption, basically whatever you would expect from a, from a bike that's, you know, built in 2020. Riding modes, I love the little joke uh, BMW put in here with their rock, roll and rain riding modes. I wish a lot more manufacturers would do that and stop taking themselves so seriously. Maybe we'll get better bikes. Let's leave it on rock. I like to hear the sound of the horn. Me too, actually. All right, hooter test. We all know this is the most important part on any bike. Let's see what BMW came up with here for their big boxer. It's not working. You have to turn it on. Turn the bike on first. Okay, ready? A lot louder than on the GS. Where is the key ignition cylinder? Uh, it's not where you would expect it to be. It's not in the center like on the GS and a lot of other models. There's just an on switch on the, on the right handlebar here. Will it come with cruise control? No, not this version. No cruise control. Lee Watkeys. Don't know where he's from. Think it looks great. Where is it made though? It's made in Berlin. It, they put it everywhere, Lee. How is the vibration during the ride? Will it tire you out on longer rides? And also, how's the wind protection? Can't test any of that. Not allowed to take the bike out as of now. So, uh, wind protection is basically non-existent on this model. Um, will it tire you out for longer rides? 
What's a long ride? Depends. Mr. C in the UK, service intervals. Cost of minor and major servicing, especially valve adjustment is required. Service intervals are the same as any other boxer every 10,000 kilometers or 6,000 miles. So basically any work that's required on any other boxers will be the same that's required for the, for the R18. Mm, this was going to be a funny one. How much will an extended warranty cost? Because you need a warranty. Uh, jokes on you, BMW does sell a five-year extended warranty and that's $500 or somewhere around there. So uh, not that bad. Sager Tapa, two questions. Is the center of gravity helping the bike handle better? Uh, boxes are usually known for being a, quite agile once you start rolling because the, this is gonna fall. I'm gonna put it here. Uh, because the center of gravity is a lot lower on the boxer. So leaning is a, actually a lot easier for a heavy bike like this. Remember, this is about 350 kilograms. So uh, it's not really that difficult to, to maneuver around, even if it's standing still. And the moment it's rolling, you're not gonna have a problem with the uh, maneuverability. So yes, low center of gravity is a big plus. Second question from Sager. Can you really ride with the fact that if the bike drops, you might be looking at a cylinder head replacement? No, it's not as bad as it sounds. This is just a, a protective cover. Underneath this cover is the actual cylinder head cover. And uh, if you drop it, you're most probably only gonna crack this one, which can be easily replaced. It's only kept in place with two different screws here. Okay, so the number one complaint or worry that I had from, from most of you was the seating position and how comfortable is it actually sitting on it? Uh, for reference, I'm about six foot, just maybe a little shy under that. My legs are comfortable. The geometry at the moment is comfortable. I'm, I'm used to sitting like this because I, I have the GS as well. So it's not a problem. My butt is comfortable on the seat as well. What I do have a problem with is the fact that I think these handlebars are a little bit too in front. So these will need to just be a little bit adjusted for me to come, uh, to come a little towards me. There are a lot of different handlebars and a lot of different risers on, uh, on BMW's site right now. So uh, if you're not happy with, with your hand position, then uh, you, know, you can adjust it to make you happy. I've had a chance to take a look at the quick connectors BMW has installed for the handlebars, the ones for, for all the electrical cables and the hydraulic lines. And, uh, Changing the handlebar, if you're not into the standard one that, that comes with the bike, is, uh, is going to be a pretty easy task to do and you can do that yourself. Still keeping with the idea of comfort, a lot of you were, uh, were upset that there are no forward foot controls. It's impossible, there will never be forward foot controls, but what I have found out as an uh, extra accessory, apart from the little uh, floorboards that everyone has seen, that. Uh, Basically, they just enlarge the standard foot pegs, but uh, apart from the floorboards, you also get floorboards that go over the cylinder. I don't have any to show you here. They go over the cylinder and you can keep your, uh, your foot up straight. So for longer trips, there's no problem for you to, to ride like this. There will be a cover so that obviously you're not going to burn yourself with, your, uh, with the cylinder. All right, so the on switch this time is actually on the right hand stalk. Basically, just press that, bike starts up. If you have a key around. Lots of pretty colors. And here we go. Moment I've been waiting for for a long time. I've never had a bike with a reverse gear before, so we're gonna do that now. There's a little lever here. Put that into reverse. There we go, it's in. And then theoretically we should just press the starter and then we should be rolling back. So let's see how this goes. Hold on. Yes, okay. Well, this should be useful in parking lots.
All right, so first impression after uh, playing around with the bike for a couple of hours, very premium made, a lot more comfortable than I was expecting uh, initially, and a hell of a lot of uh, customization options. Can't wait to actually ride it once they become available. Apparently that's sometime in July. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That's it for this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And if you consider you've learned something, why not subscribe? Dave enjoys those kind of things.